When I was a little kid, I used to love making my own toys and I'd give anything a shot. I'd be making stuff out of cardboard or plastic, I'd be using string, sticky tape, whatever I saw I could find. One of the projects I used to love to make were kites. My parents' house is opposite a creek at the very top of a hill, so we always had plenty of space and a really breezy area to fly them in. I've got a bit of a milestone birthday coming up, so I've decided to try and recapture some of my youth, just to remind myself that life hasn't always been work and bad knees. I'm going to make a kite. Will it fly? Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, I'm not a little kid anymore, so I'm gonna try and make something a little bit better than a standard diamond kite. I'm gonna make a box kite. And my box kite is essentially gonna be one big rectangular frame split into three parts with a couple cubes on the sides that have got material wrapped around them. And I'm making this video for Mark Dana's Rubbish Challenge. There's links to Mark's channel and the entry playlist down below. Long story short though, Mark has challenged us makers to build something, anything, out of wood that was destined for the rubbish. So I rescued these dowels from my mate's fire pit. These were literally in his burn. These were literally in his burn pile, so I think it fits the task perfectly. I do have a problem though. To make the kite, I need four dowels of about one and a half meters long, but the longest length I have is about a quarter of that. Should be fine though. All I have to do is cut the wood a little bit longer. I guess what I've made here are little half laps in the dowel. It might not be the strongest joint in the world, but I think it's gonna be strong enough for its purposes. This kite will fly, probably just the one time. Okay, now that I've got the longer lengths for my kite, I need to make the shorter brace pieces. There seems to be two main ways of doing this on the internet. It's either you get four pieces and make yourself a square, or you get two pieces and make yourself a cross. Because the dowel I'm gonna use is a little bit heavier than you probably want, I'm gonna go the two-piece cross version because I think that's gonna be a little bit lighter. So is this going to work? Quite frankly, I've got no idea, but eight-year-old Mario wouldn't have cared, so 40-year-old Mario is not gonna care. Let's keep going.
that seems to have gone together fairly well. It's not the strongest frame in the world, but I only expect to fly it the one time, so we should be okay. Will it fly? That's the big question. Let's finish it off tomorrow and then uh, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so as you can see, that was fantastic. It flew like 100 metres in the sky. It was beautiful, it was amazing. I wish you could have been here. And let's not talk about anything else. Don't listen to, go. to my dad, it didn't fly at all. Thank you. <laughs> we had fun, that's the main thing. Did you have fun? <laughs> it didn't fly. <laughs> it didn't fly, people.